the pandemic has shut down so much in the world. But one local man tells our I team that it actually opened a door for his personal mission to fight crime without a badge. The I team's Christina Hager shows us how his controversial tactics have put people behind bars. Who are you here to meet? A young gentleman. About as public as it gets. Tens of thousands of views of a confrontation here on the Natick Green, leading to the arrest of John Brown for allegedly trying to meet up with a minor. He didn't care about the age. He wanted to meet up and he wanted to do sexual things with what he thought was a 14-year-old boy. Jason Velasquez was a victim himself as a child. Now at age 36, the pandemic forced him out of work. He's used the time off to reinvent himself as a vigilante. Working for a group called Predator Poachers, he cruises online chat groups. I use Meet Me, Tinder, Scout. He says Brown sent him a sexual message on Grinder, so he answered, Well, I'm 14. What do you think? LOL. Brown's alleged answer? Common play. Wait, what did you say to the 14 year old? What did you tell him you wanted to do? We were just going to play. Although we can appreciate uh, what this group is trying to do, we have rules and, and guidelines that we need to follow. We have to secure evidence. We have to make sure there's probable cause. We have to get a warrant. So we did all those things. Brown pleaded not guilty. Part of the police evidence was Velasquez's video and something else he's so proud of. It scrawled across his face mask, the chat logs. So I'm always like, don't worry, I have the chat logs. I screen record everything. He showed us the alleged chat logs from another encounter that made recent headlines, the arrest of Stowe Police Chief Ralph Marino, who has since stepped down. We had to meet, bro. Huh? We here to meet. Marino is set for arraignment Friday on a charge of enticing a child. It's the same charge Marlboro police arrested Stephen Manis on, also accused of sending obscene material to a child. Manis pleaded not guilty after he faced a masked confrontation. We tried to reach all of the men, but none came to the door. So long as the perpetrator is making it very clear that the person is being recorded. Former prosecutor Jennifer Roman. And then is turning that evidence over to the police in a way that it can be tracked and the authenticity of it can be established. Um, the vigilante is protected from a, from a criminal and a civil standpoint. Do you worry that someone might have a bad reaction and that you could be unsafe? Yeah, I try to do it the safest way I could possibly do it. For Velasquez, it's an unexpected twist on the pandemic that shut down so much in our world. To him, he says, it opened the door to a personal mission for justice. I feel like I saved a lot of kids. For the I-Team, Christina Hager, WBZ News.